Good day everybody, this is John Scarborough and Savannah Scarborough. We're out here today with the chickens and we've got to the end of our run with our chickens and we're gonna get ready to turn 90 degrees. So this would be a good thing for y'all to get to see. I've never actually turned them myself or this many of them. I haven't turned a row of them. Uh, but this is a question we get pretty often is how or why do we run our chicken tractors caddy corner like that instead of having them in line? And there are several reasons uh, but I really think that this is one good reason. Now there's, like I said, there's several really good reasons and we'll go into a more in depth video of that. But right now I wanted to just get a good video showing y'all how this is going to go, turning them just so that when you get ready to do this, you can, you know, set up in your own pasture, you can kind of get an idea what this is going to be like and you can follow along and see how it works out for us. Cause this is our first time. So I'm going to hand the cameras to Savannah. come from this direction right here and we're getting ready to go back this direction so it isn't even really a 90 degree it might be more like a 45 so I don't know exactly what to expect here <clears throat> You definitely need to move up a little yeah, bit. We're going to have to move up with all of them. And it's a little hard to tell exactly because we're going to have to end up in a certain direction. So I think there's going to be a pretty good bit of moving here. I don't know how to pivot this. What do you think? Hold on. You can see the we put the microgreens down first. You see them fighting over them. All right, so you can tell. Come over here and look. <clears throat> come down in this angle right here. So if you stand right here looking at this corner, right in here, then you can tell that's the direction we're going to go with these chicken tractors. So what we'll do is this, to today's turn, we turn kind of about 90 degrees. And then tomorrow's turn, they'll all turn, and what they'll end up doing is they'll turn into yesterday or today's manure. So tomorrow when you do it, it will be yesterday's manure. So when you do that, if you you may want to pull up one you may have to figure it out from there and figure out what to do but that's kind of just the nature of the turning but that's going to be your easiest method of turning because if you get all of these perfectly in line with each other 
instead of being catty cornered you're going to have to come around in a in a full swing like that you end up wasting a lot of pasture but then it's a lot harder on you too because every bit of movement with these chickens you know you're having to be real slow and careful the first move when you're moving from their old pasture isn't so bad because they're going into fresh grass but when you try to move them any farther than fresh grass that's when it becomes really hard and difficult to do it's not that you can't do it and it's not that we haven't done it but we want to try to avoid that as much as possible we just really want to go one move at a time 